Hey everyone, this video ended up being much longer than I expected, so it will be split into two videos. Unfortunately, it will be a tiny bit backwards, as I already had this half of the video created. Here, we will talk about the top four VIP style GDM cars. If you like these educational videos and the shop updates we're going to keep doing, please like and subscribe. Car number one the Toyota Sentry. If you want a car that you can flex without heavily denting your account, the Toyota Sentry is the perfect car for you. Sitting above all GDM luxury and VIP sedans, it was made for the high ranking members of society in Japan. To date, it's the only GDM vehicle produced with a V12 engine. Sadly, the current generation is a Japan only market car. But what makes the Toyota Century unique that even the Emperor of Japan ordered one custom made. It was meant to be different from any other GDM luxury sedan since most of these were used as taxis. No high ranking member of society wanted to be driven around in an upgraded taxi. Driving a Century is a dream come true but it's in the rear seats where the entire experience is. The Nissan President The Nissan President was among the first cars to be manufactured and sold solely under the Nissan brand. Other production cars at the time of production were sold under the name Nissan in Japan but were sold under Datsun everywhere else for brand export purposes. Unlike the Toyota Century, the Nissan President was exported to other markets but in limited numbers. Nissan saw an opportunity to make a flagship VIP sedan independent of its luxury sedans which were also being used as taxis in Japan. The competition was not stiff since Toyota was the only manufacturer making a VIP at the time. Since Toyota had already started selling the Toyota Century, local buyers saw potential in GDM manufacturers and the Nissan President was well accepted. There isn't much going along in the interior except woolen seats with silk stitching and a rear central armrest housing stereo and front seat passenger controls. The front seat passenger controls enable the left side rear seat passengers to move the front seat passenger forward. That's a long one there. Thus increasing leg room for the rear passenger. The Toyota Crown. The Toyota Crown is among Toyota's flagship cars that have been produced for the longest period. Production began in 1955, shortly after the Land Cruiser debuted in 1951. It was introduced to meet the high demand for transportation in the public sector as a taxi and van and in the private sector as an executive luxury sedan coupe or wagon. To date, the Toyota Crown still retells its GDM luxury sedan status, but is only being produced as a sedan. There are debates that the Toyota Crown is better than the Toyota Century, but is it? Both have common features, but some are available in the Toyota Century while not available in the Toyota Crown, and also vice versa. For example, in the Toyota Century, you get massaging and heated seats. You get none of these in the Toyota Crown, but you get a mini fridge that is not available in the Toyota Century. The Toyota Crown was made simply to be an everyone's car. Unfortunately, I might have this name wrong. The Toyota Sucker Sussier. In 1989, Toyota unveiled the Toyota Sussier, a new addition to their luxury sedan lineup. Instead of using a shared platform with the Toyota Chaser, the Crown, and the Mark II, Toyota introduced a new platform. New mechanical parts were also designed and the Toyota Sussier was made a priority replacing the crown 
as the flagship luxury sedan. But the Cessier was not going to be sold as a Toyota. Toyota had found a way to make more sales in foreign markets, selling cars as their luxury unit, Lexus. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the 